There's some lawsuit beef between Rocco and Future. Now, Future had signed to Rocco's A1 recordings. In 2011, he was supposed to do his first six albums. That's a lot of albums, by the way. Well, most people sound a, a six album deal. Yeah, I'm, five sure, albums. I'm sure. Now, still. I'm sure he got that with Epic five to six easily. Especially if he got a big check involved or some money about it. All right. Well, Epic uh, signed on to distribute the albums, but here's the problem. According to Rocco, he says Future made some side deal with Epic, and so he's gotten cut out of a lot of money that's owed to him. All right. Now, there's been a back and forth on Twitter. So Future said, my dog gave a statement. Real Street N-word went to the courthouse. How did it feel when you signed the papers? I don't want my N-word looking like no baby mama. Call them people and tell them you was just playing, Brody. Well, Rocco responded, old homie of mine once told me just let the lawyers handle it. Lord knows I haven't seen a courthouse in ages. That's what lawyers are for. I understand where Future's coming from, but I understand where Rocco's coming from as well. See, the problem is Future's talking about real street, N-word, and this and that. Once y'all do them contracts with these major corporations, this is business, This baby. is business, Sorry. bro. This has this nothing to do with street stuff. And let's talk about how much money they're saying is on the line. According to Rocco, he says Future owes him more than $10 million. All right, well, guess what? If it's just street stuff, go in your closet, Future, and give me that shoe box and see if you got 10 million in cash in the shoe box. I don't think you do. So we got to handle this the corporate way. I'm sorry. Woo, yeah. I mean, you would think that they would be better than that because they're family and all that, but hey, man. I don't think they've really been family for a long time now. You know, it's one of those things you sign to somebody, you feel That's they're not bro. doing their job. That's your bro now. But business you don't feel like business, they're doing man. their job. It's not your bro no more. And now things got to be handled in court. Business is business, bro, bro. I mean, that's a lot of money to just say, you know what? I'm going to just let it go. Hey, no way. <laughs> business is business, Rocco. I see you, bro. I get it. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But I will say this. I know a lot of times with lawyers, there's a lot of loopholes and ways to get around contracts. So it seems like the problem might be with Epic Records more than anything. If I was did, thinking that, too. I'm like, why wouldn't you just sue Epic? If they did a side deal, it seems like the label should be responsible. Absolutely. More than anybody else. Hey. The label should be paying you. If he, you know, if he signed to the label well, through him, the check should go from Epic to Rocco, and right. then Rocco should be That's paying future. That's how it should go if he signed. Mm -hmm. However, Rocco. it goes. If Rocco's owed some money, Rocco needs to get his money. Sorry. All right. Well, now let's talk about another lawsuit. Ed Sheeran is being sued, and that is for his song "Photograph." Now, let me let me see this. Okay, if these two songs sound too much alike to you, go ahead, Q, hit it. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your. like that all right now see if that sounds like this song how did you find me I came out of nowhere like like me it's kind of amazing how you found me through all the noise somehow now if you're a lawyer are these songs too much like one song was no. written for X Factor season seven winner Matt Cardle? Yeah. That song was Ed Sheeran's Photograph. I don't so, think so. Totally different to me, Barbara. All right. Well, the songwriters, however, hired the same attorneys that won a $7.4 million judgment against Robin Thicke and Pharrell for Blurred Lines. So they want to <laughs> get $20 million in damages for that. Now, that's totally different. Those two sounded the same. That hey, you can sue for anything nowadays, huh? You can try to sue anything. Jesus Christ, man. Mm -hmm. Where are these frivolous lawsuits coming from? <laughs> All right, and last but not least, Beyonce. What did she do last night that had people going crazy? Sue Jay-Z for something. Well, Beyonce's getting sued also, by the way. I don't know if you saw <laughs> What? <laughs> did you see that too? No, I didn't see that. All right, well, you know what? Come we'll on, just keep man. doing all the lawsuits. Uh, Beyonce's getting sued, and that is for Lemonade. All right, apparently uh, somebody is saying that she stole Don't tell me idea. Minute Maid is suing um, right. Beyonce. No, Country time not. suing Beyonce? No, no, no. It's for the actual um, trailer. This uh, other person said that they have a trailer and Lemonade stole bits and pieces oh boy. from their movie. But we'll get more into that in a minute. But We don't have to. What did she do last night? She sneezed while she was performing oh, okay. All right. on the Formation Tour. Rumor report just jumped to Everybody the show. went <laughs> absolutely crazy. You know what happened? Everybody chimed in all at once and said, bless you. Like the whole entire audience when Beyonce sneezed. Why is that news? All at one time. Come on, man. Now listen. And then, listen, it was trending on Twitter yesterday. That's why I'm telling you this. People went so crazy because that was like, oh my God, Beyonce is a human being. She sneezes just like us. All right. All y'all got too much time <laughs> on your hands. This is the kind of thing that you make jokes about and you be like, yo, it's if Beyonce sneezed, it'd be news. No, if she Beyonce really sneezed, it it's really news. It was really this is ridiculous. Y'all need, y'all all need to get a life. Beyonce sneezed. Like, what would make you think mm -hmm. Beyonce doesn't Imagine sneeze? Imagine if Beyonce farted. 
Ooh, she does that, that too. Crazy. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but I'm, she does that no, too. No, she doesn't. I'm okay. sure she does. All right. <laughs>